Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today we got in our hands on the Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2 B patch. Um, we got it through the uh, Star Citizen League's Discord channel. Now they're known as the Pipeline. All right, so a big thank you to those guys for getting these details out. All right, so now this this patch is is relatively light, um, but there is a very important piece uh, that I'd like to discuss with you guys. All right. Um, before I do, big thank you to all my Patreon as well as my channel members. And um, if you're new to this channel, if you like stars in the content, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so let's get the uh, the light stuff um, out of the way first. So they made some uh, lighting polishes on the new space stations. Um, a performance um, polish on the new derelict um, reclaimers. So they also added food and drink quality of life purchasing updates. So food and drinks can be purchased in multiples using many shop kiosk in the PU. This is a nice quality of life update. Sometimes you want to purchase more than one, right? Um, so for ships and vehicles, they updated the uh, Scorpius uh, QT HUD location. That is fine. So now the main feature that I wanted to uh, discuss with you guys tonight is the actor downstream networking update this is huge okay so it says enable new remote movement sorry enable new remote movement and new server authoritative position system with this update players should see great improvements with on foot position and less jittering behavior while viewing remote player movements this is big man um i recall i think the first build in 317 right um i think they made some was it 317 I, I, either 316 or 317 they made an improvements on the ships right where um the desyncing and um those are uh, the network issues in terms of uh ship combat and they fixed that right so now with 317.2 um they're adding this for the, the uh players themselves on foot um, so this is going to help improve, you know, those these things that we've been we've been experiencing um, with our, you know, with, with our party members, with people that we see out in the verse. Right. So this is going to help improve, um, especially with um, what do you call it? The underground uh, missions, the the underground base missions where, you know, you're going to start seeing AI on foot. Right. You're going to start seeing AI at the derelict locations uh for the reclaimers so this is perfect timing this is perfect timing and um you know scenarios where you want to snipe you're not seeing these things right off in the distance right so it's gonna be it's it's gonna be it's quite interesting i'm really excited for it um and and what i'm getting out of this is it seems like they're starting to um improve the servers the server performance whatever they're doing right they're freeing up you know resources off of the servers this way they can add features such as this to improve the overall player experience once again this is another step in the right direction into giving us a better experience in star citizen and i'm, I'm quite happy with it all right so uh that's what i wanted to bring to you guys today if you haven't already like and subscribe all right i'll see you on the next one